The pads that we have for the dual action polishers, especially with the uh, five inch backing plate size are going to be an extremely well made and well thought of foam that has a very large range between heavy cutting and fine polishing and with our 5.5 inch pads they will have no spidered pattern and it isn't necessary still gives us the strength but because of the rotation of the orbitals uh, it's not necessary to have that spider pattern actually even enhances the gloss and the finish of the pad. Now with all the pads that are larger for your 6.5 inch and your 7.5 inch, we do have those spider patterns available. They're great for the dual action polisher and the high speed polisher to give you that high definition finish. We're going to show you this pad right here. It's our light purple pad. It's designed to go with our HD cut, our HD polish, and our HD speed. Now this combination we're going to show you today and we're going to show you right now how spectacular of a finish you're going to get from a cut down to that fine finish. If you look over here, what we've done is we took with our heavy cutting pad, we removed uh, our heavy cutting dark purple uh, high definition pad, we removed a lot of the scratches but you have some micro marring that's gone on here and then we took and we put it on HD speed on that heavy cutting pad and we created a pretty nice finish. However, we want to up the ante. We want to make sure we get it better. So we're going to put a, a piece of tape here to kind of show you that not only will this pad do the cutting and remove scratch marks and marring, but it'll also brighten up these finishes. And we're going to do it with just the all-in-one correction power of HD speed. And we're going to put five piece size drops on here. Now a lot of people want to know if we need to condition these pads with HD speed you're not going to need to condition the pad it lubricates quickly so you don't have to worry about any of that dry buff. Now if you do you can take HD touch, you can take 3D's detail spray or you can take 3D's final touch and get that job done. When I do it with a high speed yeah I want to give it on a fresh pad a, a little bit of a spritz there with either one of those products. If I'm in a body shop definitely want to keep to um, H or to 3D detail spray uh, because there's zero silicone, zero uh, silicate emulsifier. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to uh, do this part here that's already been cut with our heavy cutting pad and then polished with 3D polish and you'll see the difference when we get over to this side here. All right. So we're going to have this uh, thing set to five on the HD polisher. Now this polisher is a five inch backing plate made for the 5.5 inch pad. You're going to notice right off the top how balanced this pad uh, works with the product. It's going to be extremely easy to use and how quickly it's going to cut it down. And then the finish. There's a great balance. The machine isn't wobbling back and forth. We're letting the product and the pad do the work. Now balance is important because you want to be accurate while you're doing your detail. You also don't want to have to fight a pad or fight a, a, a polisher. If you're doing this all day, you don't want to have to do any extra work, any more work than you need to. Create that high gloss finish. Now what's really nice about this pad, it starts to soften up. It creates larger surface area. Make sure you get that real high definition shine. And it works extremely well with HD speed. The products work hand in hand. Make sure our towel is nice and clean. So we can show you the difference in what just changing that pad and that product did. So if you look here, it's nice, deep, dark black finish. And as you get over to this line right here, you can see the difference between the two pads. Okay, so now one of the benefits besides the real shine and the correction natures is the way that this uh, pad holds the product in. So we only have that original uh, five small piece size drops. We put it on, we wiped it off, and let me show you how much, how well it lasts or allows HP speed to work. It keeps that product in there with its special lubricants to extend your work a long period of time. So even if I were to go back and forth, up and down, and then wipe it down again, I can keep going because it doesn't disperse the product unevenly, holds it on nicely to allow the product to go even further than it was before. 
Go ahead and wipe it down. Take a look at our finish. But thank you for taking the time to check us out with 3D products and helping us out, introducing you to our uh, brand new HD high definition a polishing pad. Now this is the light purple pad. It's basically our speed pad. We're going to nickname it because this thing does it all. It's quick. It does a quick cut, a great cut, and a nice finish. The range is phenomenal with this foam. And with HD speed, as you can see, it's a win-win. Also with this pad, it keeps the, the material nice and evenly patterned. You can see exactly where you left it, so it keeps the body of the foam and the, and the product in there really well. So no matter where you put it, it helps control the amount of sling that goes on your job. Even if you do tend to use a little bit more product than maybe you should, uh, this will help eliminate that extra cleanup. Uh, we appreciate you again taking that time to check us out on 3D products. We know this is going to be your go-to pad. And I'm Donald Williams with 3D International. We'll see you in our next episode where we're going to show you how to use the brand new high definition polishing finishing pad.